Good evening everybody, it's Charlie and welcome back to another video on the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing all right today as always. So then we're back with another evening transfer update as such. Um, it's mainly just to speak about one area of the pitch. Um, but just before I get into it, smash that like button, please subscribe, share all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below and we'll get right into it then. So then. Something happened um, last night. Um, it was confirmed that Leif Davis, um, Leeds United left back, well, no longer a Leeds United left back, as he has now joined Ipswich Town on a permanent deal for a fee believed to be in the region of a million quid. Um, he's joined them on a three year deal. Um, we knew that there was interest um, from League One clubs, and it looks like obviously Ipswich have won that race and they've secured him on a three year contract. So, why am I discussing Leave Davis leaving? Well, <laughs> that now means that obviously we've got Junior Furpo, who's a left back, but other than Junior Furpo, Leeds United have no left backs. Sound. <laughs> um, no fit left back. Obviously, Furpo's going to miss the first few weeks of the season. Um, yes, people are saying, oh, well, Kelda can play there, Stroik can play there, Harrison. No. Like, it's small, it's more square pegs, round holes. We can't be having that now. We just can't. Um, it's really worrying and really concerning that we're what 11 days away from the season starting and we start and we don't have an out and out left back to start the season. Which means if we want one in before the Wolves game, we've got what probably a week and a bit to get one in and actually have them in training for a few days and stuff prior to the Wolves game. I personally don't think we'll have one by the Wolves game. I can't lie. I just can't see one getting done that quickly. Um, I hope I'm wrong. Um, but obviously it surely means now that we have to get one, whether it's in time for the Wolves game or not, we definitely need one. I'd even go as far to say two, but I think realistically we need one and I think we will get one. I'm just, like I said, I'm I'm just a bit wary as to whether we're actually going to get it in time for that Wolves game. If we don't have it for the Wolves game, you're probably going to see Pascal play there or maybe even Jack Harrison. But then due to Sinistera being injured, He'll probably miss the Wolves game at least. Harrison will probably be used further up the pitch. So you'd expect Pascal to probably play there with a back two of Robin Cock and Diego Llorente. Obviously, that's if we don't sign one. Hopefully, we do. Um, but speaking of left-back options, apparently Leeds United um, are very keen and interested on securing the signature of Miguel Gutierrez, um, a young Real Madrid left-back. Um, I think he's about 20 years old. Um, obviously, really, really decent pedigree and a really good up-and-coming talent over in Madrid. Um, is supposed to be thought of quite highly in terms of the youth set up there. Um, Out-and-out left-back, attacking full-back, can defend as well. Again, don't know a great deal about him. I'm just going off the brief stuff that I've read on social media today and the brief clips that I've seen on YouTube. Again, I know that YouTube clips aren't exactly the be-all and end-all. But from what I'm seeing and from what I'm hearing, I think this would be a decent signing. Judging by the left-back options that Leeds United have been linked with, I think we're kind of going down a route where we're not going to bring in like a senior left-back, like someone with experience. I think we're going to go for a slightly younger left-back, you know, early 20s, even if it's someone that hasn't got Premier League experience. I've said numerous times on this channel, people have massively disagreed and I don't understand why. I think people are just believing everything that Gary Monk said about Charlie Taylor. Charlie Taylor, for me, Premier League experience, really solid left back, is good at attacking but can also defend as well and has, of course, got the very good Premier League experience that would be preferable in a left back or at least a left back that's played at a good level for um, a considerable amount of time, which Charlie Taylor has. A lot of Leeds fans are 
you know, just blinded by what Monk said about him when he left to join Burnley. But I think that's a deal that Leeds United could do within about two days. It, like, if we approached him, he would definitely come 100%. I don't think that will happen. Um, he would be my number one pick, if I'm being honest, um, would Charlie Taylor. Um, but this Gutierrez lad looks like a really good young talent. Um, I was watching um, Joe, actually, from the Just Your Football Show, fellow Leeds United YouTube um, content creator, um, who did um, kind of say as well that he um, was under the impression that we may be after a Manchester United left-back called Alvaro Fernandez. Um, again, I don't know a lot about this guy, but again, it's another young left-back. I think that is the route that Leeds will most likely go down with this. It's definitely an area of the pitch that we need to improve on 100%. I think right back, we're stacked now. Christensen, Ailing, Drame. Left back, we've got Junior Firpo, who is a walking yellow card. He's made of biscuits and he's not very good at professional football. So, you know, that's why I was saying earlier that in a, you know, in, in a, in a fantasy world, I would love two left backs. That's not going to get done. So I would happily take one solid left back. Like I said, my number one pick would be Charlie Taylor, but that's not going to happen. I think the young up and coming route is the way that leads are going to move forward. Um, how good of a route that will be, only time will tell. Um, I would keep your eyes peeled on the left-back situation. Obviously, the striker situation still not sorted. Still no update regarding CDK. The only small little update that I saw earlier, well, I say update, it's something we already know, but apparently um, Milan have basically said again that they're not willing to meet the fee that Club Bruges are wanting. Leeds United are willing to pay €40 million. Euros. Um which Club Bruges are happy to accept if AC at Milan can't stump up the fee. Still no update. It's getting a bit boring now, if I'm being honest. Um, I just want this over with as soon as possible. I want us to get a left back, to get a striker in time for that Wolves game. I don't think both positions will be secured by then. I hope one of them is, at least. Um, but if we don't have a left back in for that Wolves game, I will be quite nervous going into that, I can't lie. If we manage to get a left back, great. I'll feel a bit more optimistic. I still feel optimistic about the season in general. Um, I'm just talking about that that opening game. I think we definitely need to try our absolute hardest to get a left back in through the door as soon as possible. So those are my thoughts on the left back situation at the minute. It's very frustrating, but hopefully we can strike a deal as soon as possible if you've enjoyed this video please smash that like please subscribe and share all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below hit that notification bell so that you're always aware of when i'm uploading and all that good stuff hopefully um fingers crossed the first episode of the south stand view podcast will be dropping tomorrow night at eight o'clock with me and my friend sam who i sit next to in the south stand as i've said so hopefully that will drop tomorrow um, keep an eye out on the Patreon as well um, for the articles that I'm writing. Journalism is a career that I've always wanted to do since I was at school. So I'm hopefully just trying to put feelers out there and just try to branch out with that. So any support on that would be appreciated as well. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next upload, people. Thanks very much for watching.